Tobela. Togosani again. Um, there's one very important topic that, you know, has been, you know, banning me from the inside to take it out and share with you because this is one knowledge, very important knowledge which I regard on a spiritual sense point of view that which I've been taught during my my spiritual journey it was um, I was never taught this by any man or any woman alive this was brought to my attention by one of my ancestors, my, my, my ancestors, my great 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 grandfather together with, with his wife he showed to me in a vision you know we've been discussing about this and funny as it may sound uh, with time because it took me years to get to realize the truth behind this uh, story or topic that you know we have been discussing about in the vision and I can assure you it's true it's a scientific fact the Chinese have been doing it the Africans ancient Africans have been practicing it for, 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 for quite a number of years in the past for thousands of years the Hindu traditions are still practicing it, are still practicing it as we speak it's a topic whereby you know a variety of people shy on to talk about but it's true the topic is about preserving your sex energy your sexual energies um what what the old man told me when we were discussing in the dream he said to me and mind you, by that time, I didn't know anything about, you know, how energy moves, how our vertexual points are, you know, are being structured within this system. I didn't know that. I was not even aware. I was not even interested by then. But, you know, after the topic, after we have discussed that, that gave me, you know, a spark. That, aha! you need to look up to this you must research make it a point you know more about this and understand what actually is going on here just you know um or just you know on your uh, what do you call prostate gland uh, that's where your root chakra it's it's located most of your creative energy resides there and most of the time we get to waste such, I mean, such uh, powerful energies by, you know, spreading it or just, you know, splashing it out, you know, through sexual um, activities. Like, you know, just, you know, people who fuck around, if I may put it that way, for, for a lack of a better terminology to use. He gave me, you know, very simple exercises he said it is very much important that every day you make it a point you practice you learn you practice you know contracting your 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 what you call the very same gland that i've been talking about your prostate gland because that is where your power lies he mentioned that to me and I believe him today because I know I've been doing it, I've seen it, and I know its effects. He said, every day when you are alone, when you are seated alone, relaxed, uh, make it a point you at least learn how to contract and relax your, your prostate gland. Do it more than 100 to 300 times. By doing that, you will feel, you know, something happening within the system. Because when you do that with time, with awareness, with, uh, in, with, with an open conscious mind, you realize that um, with time, when you do that, 
you realize that energy moves from that point uh, it moves through your spinal cord in your cerebrospinal fluid that's where the electricity moves then you will feel it up in here you will feel the heat here on your third eye of perception on your penal gland when that happens then you know you are doing the right thing then you know what you are doing it's becoming you know beneficial for you that is what he told me and i've realized that what happens is um when you do that even those even the people who are suffering from prostate you know glands you know swollen prostate glands or people with um, prostate cancer it is advisable that they do this they practice this you know this philosophy of contracting and relaxing their pineal i mean their prostate gland because with time when you do that you will realize that you know the swelling dissipates the swelling moves away the swelling and the cancer moves away but again with the cancer you will have to be using you know apps that are specifically targeting you know cancerous um, tumors for you to get you know um, hundred percent results on those what happens is um, he said again it is not important for you to always you know when you are intimate you don't need to always ejaculate because that energy you need that energy you need to preserve that energy for you to get to expand this to expand your brain it is a creative energy that you need to use to get to make things happen in your life to manifest things into reality in your life i was like huh hmm? what is this old man talking about now but it's a fact it's not always the case that when you are intimate with your partner you have to ejaculate no he said to me at least if you can do it um, um on monthly basis make it a point that you know let's say maybe i don't know how i mean how many times you people you know have sex or whatever that i cannot you know be the judge of but it's very much important that some days when you feel like you are at that peak when you feel like you are about you are about to ejaculate don't hold it up practice that the relaxation and the contraction of the of the of the prostate feel the ecstasy from within but don't release the energy because you need that energy for you to get to create stuff in reality because the very same energy that you hold up it's the energy that moves within you it moves through your spinal cord within those chakra um, centers up and up until here when it gets here you will even feel the, the heat here he said to me are you are you familiar with um, Albert Einstein's equation of um, um, the equation that states e equals to mc squared I was like yes 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 I know I know I know about that equation but the thing is I don't understand what it means he said okay what that means is um, energy equals to material or matter multiply by fire fire which is the life force that makes us alive as human beings the electricity that gives us this exuberance i was like yeah then what about it he said in your palms yeah at the center of your palms resides what you know the chinese people call it chi in Pali language that is the life force 
that he's referring to, you know, this pranic energy that uh, the Hindu people call. He said that when you massage your testicles after you have holding up, after you have, I mean, after you have held your yourself from ejaculating and preserving that energy, when you hold those, your, I mean, the scrotum, your, your, your nuts, you massage them with this, your hand, your palm, you give them fire, in a way you're giving them energy, that, that is the very same equation that I've just, uh, you know, told you about, then the very same energy moves through your chakras, through your spinal cord, it moves up in here. Then, whatever you think about, whatever you wish um, to happen in life, specifically to your life, that becomes a reality. And he said, you know, when you do that, again, that practice, you know, gives you longevity of life um, in reality. And I was like, okay, okay. Then with that knowledge, I decided now, um, I'm going to share the knowledge with people. People who get to, I mean, who want to understand and get to understand what's happening from within here for them, you know, to live better lives, uh, spiritual lives, lives of purpose and lives of meaningfulness. Thank you.